Hi there everyone, it's Sarah here and I have a tutorial for you today on behalf of Wild Orchid Crafts as part of their YouTube design team, The Wild Bunch. And today I'm finally getting round to doing um, a tutorial on how I make um, these little books. Um, I've had several questions and I just didn't get around to getting the video done last week. Um, it was just the way things worked out. Um, I just didn't have the time to fit it in, so I'm going to go through how I actually managed to get this painted um, and how I put it together. I might not do the whole book, I might just paint the cover just to let you see how I did it. Um, so th this is the book that I've been using. I picked up quite a few of these. Um, it's just an A5 notebook and what I start off by doing is taking any stickers off. Um, to start off with and then what I do is I go to the back of the book and I just flip it over. Um, now for those of you with bind it alls and the cinch and what have you, you know how you usually put it in to give it a, a wee squeeze but I don't have one of those. So all I do is I undo each of the prongs of the, the actual ring binder so that you're separating it out. You can see that so that you're creating a hole so that you can just slide the cover off. So that's the back cover and then to get the front cover off all you do is bring it round and slide that off too and then just put this aside until you've got your paper decorated or your covers decorated and then once they're decorated you put them back on and then you just kind of squeeze the, the, the bits and pieces together. Um, now I usually just paint these out. Um, so I'll just go ahead and, and stick some paint on these and uh, we'll see how, how we get on. So when I'm done, all I do is, let me just pop that across there just now, all I do is get the book back and once the front cover's decorated embellished, you put it on with the decorated embellished side facing you and just pop that back on the, the ring binders and then pop it round to the front and then you get your inside back cover which is facing you and then you pop that on. And then at this point, what you do is you squeeze them all back together again and then just close your book up and that's you. So I hope that was helpful for you. It's just a case of opening up the ring binders. There's nothing special. I don't paint it with the covers on. I take them off, paint it, embellish it and then put them back on. And then that's how you get this finished article here. And that's how with the questions that I've had answered, why, how come I don't get the um, the paint or glitter all over the rings and that's why, because I remove the covers, embellish and put back on. So I hope that was helpful for you. What I'll do is I will finish this book today um, and I'll, I'll come back and show it to you later. Um, so I hope that was helpful and I shall catch up with you soon and show you, show you this little book when it's done in a separate video. So.
Hi there everyone, it's me back again and I just wanted to show you my finished book. Um, I'd gone ahead and I had um, painted it and decorated it and did all the different bits and pieces to it and I thought well once it was decorated I uh, would just come back and show me me putting it back together again. So this is what I've done with it. Um, it's kind of sea themed. I've used a lot of skeleton leaves and raffia and glitter and distress inks and shells and sea glass and and all sorts. Um, so this is the front cover. The back cover, I've literally just finished it so I'm covered in ink. I've just sprayed it in Lindy Stamp Gang um, Starburst sprays and again with the other two covers. This is the actual back cover and this is the front. So what you need to do is you need to get your book back the notebook and this is going to be the front cover so this needs to go on facing you uh, and you just carefully slide that on there sometimes it can be a wee bit sticky to go on because you've painted the front cover but once you get it on it'll be fine there we go and you need to really lay your book flat to get it on. There we go, that's it on. Then what you need to do is you need to flip that round and that's going to be your front. So try and pull, there we go, the ring binders through a little bit. Now, it's the best way to do this. Um, so with the front cover now at the front, you need the back cover to be facing you. So what you need to do is just slot that on. To the rings. And of course if you've got to bind it all, you could do all this from scratch yourself and then you just want to squeeze these all back in again. Oops, I dropped that. There's a big fly in here in the workshop. I had the door open um, trying to get it to go out. And, but the neighbours' kids are in their garden and they're screaming and shouting so I'll shut the door while I, I finish this off. Okay, so that's that back on. So what you need to do is you need to kind of roll it round a little bit, the ring binder, so that you're, you're getting the this bit here down towards the, the book, the jotter itself a little bit rather than it being halfway round. So what to do is, once it's done, flip your cover back over and it'll tend to just kind of go round a wee bit. Hang on, it's because my front cover's a wee bit stiff. There we go. No, not quite. I need to get this to go round a little bit further. So I'm just taking care that I don't damage the front of this while I'm doing this. There we go. So that's it all background. The book's flat and everything's tickety-boo. So I'll just go through what I've done with the front of the book. I've still got everything lying out here. I've used the skeleton leaves, mixed pack of mixed skeleton leaves along the bottom here. But I've put strips of raffia up, let me start again, the base coat is cream paint or latte I think it is and then what I did was um, I put some half inch score tape down and flattened out some raffia and then put the strips of raffia down and then in between the strips of raffia I put down some uh, eighth of an inch uh, red line tape and then I covered it in some Martha Stewart's glitter uh, and it was the one called Limeade that I used this one here so you've got glitter, raffia and so on and then I took a beer mat and I covered it in the same acrylic paint I used uh, latte on the bottom and then let me see if I can get this in closer 
I used latte on the bottom and then what I did was I used a layer of uh, crackle medium, full cart crackle medium and then the top layer of paint that crackles was this one here by Deco Art and this one is spring green or early spring green there you go so that was the, the paint that I used um, from my own stash I used some moss some shells some sea glass um, a chipboard um, seahorse and I dipped it in distress inks just to give you a nice there and I called it the book of secrets as in the sea and then crits um, and then I used some glossy accents to give me bubbles you can see that there all the way along there and then that's it, I just attached the, the leaves at the top with glossy accents they're still wet and the ones at the bottom so that they're kind of coming up you can see that there to make it look like seaweed a bit coming out the sea so there we go, that's the finished book I hope you'll try this um, it's relatively easy to do There's, you just take the covers off decorate them and stick them back on again so I hope you like that I think I'll make this my project for this week for Wild Orchid Crafts as well as a separate tutorial which will be up before this which will show you me taking it to bits and then this one obviously putting it back together again so I shall see you all next week with another project and take care and I'll see you all soon bye for now